the honorable member states of wipo i would like to say thanks to you for the efforts and initiatives made to regularize the contracts of long serving temporary employees in wipo and would like to congratulate my fellow colleagues who after a long suffering and long waiting finally got their legitimate right of regularization of contracts sir here i would like to tell you who am i who am i and why i am addressing it to you i am ram kishan singh an indian national who started working in wipo in february 1999 in pct until january 2009 I had been on temporary contracts for almost 10 years. I don't know whether this is a normal practice or abnormal practice existed in Waipu. But me I found it abnormal practice. Nobody can say in the world that 10 years work can be treated as a temporary employment, especially for the work which generates 80% income. to the wipo and wipo i think is having annual income more than 600 million swiss francs now i would like to tell that i am a victim of the present director general mr francis gary and his supervisors mr david mills mr bj bj bird Mr M Abidin and Mrs Dorothy Mulhausen because these people were the responsible for PCT and all the atrocities inflicted to the temporary staff these supervisors are responsible for it things started going bad in PCT when the pct's charge was given to mr francis gary in 2002 2002 onwards until october 2008 before becoming a director general he was responsible for all the bad things happened in pct especially concerning to the social rights employment rights to the temporary people me i raised this issue on number of occasions but nobody paid attention and finally i decided to raise it through the platform of wipo staff association for this i tried to contest in 2007 and in 2008 in 2008 for them is a mistake i put in my manifesto that if i am elected i guarantee the regularization contracts of long serving temporary staff that was the bone of contention of non renewal of my contract after 10 years of service immediately after the results of the election i was given a negative appraisal reports saying that my performance in quality and quantity and attitude is not up to the mark and again in the uh, in december 2008 after almost 8 months was again second appraisal report was given saying that i could not improve in my quality quantity and attitude so based on that and based on the strategic realignment my contract cannot be renewed further after january 2009 in fact the second incident happened when in the town hall meeting after becoming a director general mr francis gary asked the people their suggestions and any question they have i raised my finger and i asked him mr francis gary you had been the program manager to the pct for from 2002 onwards and you have not done anything for the welfare of the temporary staff so what is your program now so 
raising this question was a question mark on his leadership. He didn't reply me properly, but he took revenge by terminating or non, -re non renewing my contact. This is the story. There are number of eyewitnesses for it, who they want to support me, who they are with me, and if an if an opportunity is given to me by some of the responsible member states to meet them in person. These people would like to join me to tell the truth what happened to me and to the other short term employees. Now I would like to request the early decisions after October 2008 taken by Mr. Francis Gary and his management be reviewed. All terminations, transfers, harassment cases and new recruitment under the strategy of strategic realignment of the organization and there was a hidden agenda post for vote or vote for post. I have two examples of this because I don't know about other countries but from my country two people played a very dubious role for their personal interest in WIPO. One is Mr. Naresh Nandan Prashad, presently Executive Director and Chief of the Staff since May 2009, immediately after his getting a uh, Director General. And another is Mr. Swas Pavansi, ex-Ambassador to India, retired on 31st, of, uh, 31st December 2008. Both were given gainful employment. There is a question mark. It's not here. It's in the back home too. That I don't want to bring this issue now. But me, I would like to request you that a chance, an opportunity be given to me to prove that I am a victim of Francis Gary, Mr. David Mills, Mr. M. Abedin, Mr. B. J. Burt, and Mrs. Dorothy Mulhausen. Especially if you see the record, Mr. Abedin, Mrs. Dorothy, and Mr. B. J. Burt were promoted exceptionally because they always fulfilled the desire to make suffering to the temporary staff in WIPO. So because of that, these people periodically were given undue promotions. Especially I would request their promotions and especially rec uh, the recruitment should be reviewed. Because I, it is reported that during this four, e four years time, already more than 400 people have entered in WIPO under the excuse of strategic realignment of the organization. But basically these were the promised appointments who supported him to getting to get to be an, a director general of this organization. It is my exceptional request if some countries especially I request the leading countries United States, China, Japan, Brazil, India that an opportunity be given to the suffering class in WIPO. Recently I give you an example. One of the senior officer Mr. Anil Sina is on indefinite fasting, protesting against Francis Gary who lied to the staff council which spoiled the image of this young man. He is protesting. Please, an attention be given why he is protesting. Because Francis Gary tried to mislead the 
staff members of WIPO many occasions misled the member states, especially he misled India because according to Mr. Swas Pawan Singh, he told me that Francis Gary has agreed to renew my contract after January 2009. But he lied to him, he lied to India and because of that many Indians are suffering in Waipu. I hope India will pay attention to this and will meet the employees of the WIPO to listen their grievances. Thank you very much. I will continue sending you some videos which will disclose the facts what is happening in WIPO. Thank you very much.